Let's go to Syria. The road to Damascus doesn't look great. Welcome to Syria. This is Sath Lab. Sath Lab, I think. Thank you so much. Welcome. Shukran. Wow. This is turning into a bit of a food tour. Everyone in Damascus is so friendly. برد نوصل لا من عهر الروح يلي ماتت كل شي بهد سحا سحا Oh my god you've dripped everywhere Good morning it is actually an extremely early start here in Beirut, Lebanon and after 10 days exploring as much as we possibly could in this country it's time to head to a new a brand new destination what is the first thing that comes to mind for you when you think of Syria probably from the news you think of the crisis that began in 2011 and is still ongoing but currently it is becoming much more accessible much safer there are a lot of cities that are open for tourists so we have decided to head to Damascus Syria this has been an ongoing conversation with our friend Ayub and was part of the reason we actually came to Lebanon in the first place I didn't realize how close Beirut is to Damascus and after doing Iraq the excitement to show the true story of a destination that gets such a hard time from the press is something that we are so just so passionate about so it's um 7:59 in the morning our driver picks us up in 10 minutes i had about three hours sleep i'm not nervous just apprehensive let's go to syria thank you so much Oh, shukran. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? Hello. Molly, nice to meet you. Hello, Thank friend. You. Nah, nice to meet you. Let's do it. We're on the road to Damascus. Right now, I, I'm not feeling like apprehensive or nervous or anything. Um, I think maybe if you'd have told me six months ago that we'd have traveled Iraq and we're now heading to Syria, I think people would... In the space of two in weeks. In the space of a few weeks, people would have been like, what the hell? I would have been like, no, that's definitely not true. My family would have been like, as if. Um, it just feels so surreal that we're able to do it. Uh, but yeah, I don't feel nervous. I think maybe when we get actually on the road and have to start going through checkpoints, then I will start feeling some sort of apprehension. road to Damascus is becoming more and more treacherous. We're actually taking the mountain route. I think there is two routes and the further up you go, they don't grit the roads. They don't put salt on the roads. Um, a lot of people are having to stop to put snow tires on. Luckily we're in a four by, luckily we're in a four, by four but um, I don't know. I wasn't expecting snow on the way to Syria. There's like zero visibility. It's slushy, icy roads. Look outside. You can't see a thing. That is our visibility right now. You can't even you can just about see the car in front. Oh my god, I hope, I hope it's not like this in Damascus. We're probably now about one mile from the Syrian border. Words I never thought. Ever thought I would say we're out of the snow out of the storm and the closer you get you'll notice a lot of refugee camps um, I think we'll all remember the images of refugees leaving the crisis um, on the news but you don't think about how many of them settled so close to Syria small little villages in Lebanon and the conditions that some of them are in it just doesn't look great but if you just look this is the road there is absolutely nobody else on the road to Syria. We are now at the border. We are just changing from our Lebanese car to our Syrian car. We have met our driver, Mahmoud, who's going to be taking us to 
the Lebanese so to good. Syrian swap. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome. Shukran. Thank you so much. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Shukran. Welcome to Syria. Yes. Salam, Syria. Are we in now? This, are we we in? are now in Syria. Yeah. Wow. Woo! This is extremely surreal. Welcome to Syria. We've made it. That was um, a very easy process, a lot easier than I was expecting. We exited Lebanon straight away, stamped out, and then there were like three or four different checks, and we're in for British tourists. It is $140 each for your visa, and you get two weeks. And to enter Syria now, the rules are absolutely anyone entering. Well, for us anyway, you have to do a tour. So that is why we are doing a tour with Marotta, who are known and renowned as being the best tour company in all of Syria. So everything was really straightforward. They give you your paperwork before, they put forward for you to have your visa. So you already have the approval for the visa. You just have to go there, pay. And now we have an hour's drive to Damascus. Hey. Hi, hey, nice to meet you. How are you, my friend? Great to finally meet you. Oh, thank you nice so much. to meet you. Hey. Hi, Hi, nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Pleasure. This is it. We have made it to the streets. Thank you, Shukran. Already, everyone's so friendly. We have made it to the streets of Damascus. We have just met our guides, Mary and Rami, who are going to be with us for the next week. And our first job is to check in to our hotel in the old town, the historic old town of Damascus. And this is where we are going to be staying, right in the heart of the old town. I just really hope the rain stops. Um, the sun is peeking out a little bit. Beit al Mamluka. This traditional way of knocking the doors I in love that. the ancient city of Damascus. Nice, if we're locked out at night, <laughs> exactly. we can just bang on the door. Oh, it's an actual is anyone home? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> As soon as you come in, somebody did answer the door after I knocked, after all. It's like a Riyadh, like it a Dar. Yeah, it's like a, a Riyadh, a Dar, courtyard. I Traditional like family home. It's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you so much. We've just been given a welcome drink in like the restaurant, which is so pretty. Did you find out it doubles as a bar? <laughs> oh, really? Important information. Very important information. This is Sath Lab. I think and it's like a milky drink. I don't know if you can see I don't really know how to describe it, but I'll taste it It's lovely and warm as well, which is so needed It has like bits in it. It's like Oh my god, it's like a porridge but like you're drinking it and it's like a watery consistency. It's nice Sachleb might be my new favorite drink. It's like a warm Thick, cozy it's like drink. It Warm was Malibu. really nice, like coconutty. It was gorgeous. And um, but we do have our keys for our room, so I can give you a room tour. Your accommodation is actually included with the price of your tour, and this is actually a five-star hotel. So we're going to show you what a five-star. Would you hotel imagine looks like. when you think of Syria? Do you imagine five-star hotels? Probably not, and I bet you wouldn't think that it looks like this. Like I love the traditional Damascian. I think it is. Let's see. Are you ready? We have our own little seating area. If the rain stops, we can actually sit out here. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. So, wow, you know, like my first instincts, I'm just looking around like this is, this is amazing. This is like a suite. It is so traditional. So you have all your photos on the wall. We have a seating area. I have a little desk here. I can flick through the book here and then Oh, there are suitcases in here, that's good. Our bedroom, I'm obsessed. The decor, the uh, the style, the detailing that's gone into this. So we have our double bed here. In here we have our big bathroom. Oh my God, shower's lovely and lots of storage, archways. This is, this is stunning, Welcome I bet. Welcome to Damascus. It's not what I was expecting at all. This has to be my favorite part. Did you know that in Syria, you can drink alcohol. And we have our own little mini bar. Hello. 
and we're out. Welcome to the mean streets of Damascus, Syria, the oldest continuously inhabited capital city in the world, dating back almost 12,000 years. And our first stop in the old streets is of course the food street. We are absolutely starving and ready to try our first taste of the Syrian cuisine. You can find this uh, kibbe, it's one of the most famous things in Syria in general. It's kind of bulgur stuffed with the meat and it's barbecued or fried or anything. My Shukran, God. thank you so much. So wow. this, is the... this okay. looks so good. Are you going right. to try it? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it with my fingers. No, it's fine. It's okay. We'll do it messy. We'll do it like this. So this is pomegranate on top. Yeah. And inside is meat with the bulgur meat. Can you see how hot that is? <gasps> okay. Mmm. Wow. It's like a pomegranate soy sauce. It's like... Uh, yeah, molasses. Molasses. Right. That is good. Uh, yeah, you want yes. to try this? Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. Shukran. Wow. This is turning into a bit of a food tour. Everywhere we go. What is this? So this is Syrian Damascene sweet. It's called Mabrume. Mabrume. And it's filled with uh, pistachio. Wow, it looks very, very good. I'm just eating non-stop. Mm. It's like really, really sweet. The pastry on the outside is quite hard and chewy, but the inside is really sweet. First introduction to some Syrian food and I am impressed. Normally, the old streets of the old town of Damascus would be packed with people, but unfortunately we've had like three different types of weather today. We started off with some snow, when we had some sunshine, when we crossed the border into Syria, and now we have a little bit of rain. Hopefully, I, I feel like it won't last too long. It looks like the sun's peeking through, I hope. We wandered to try and find some cover from the rain and we came to Zoria Suk, which is actually a like spice suk and sweet suk and incense suk it's and anything good. you could ever want. It smells so nice down here. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very What's much. What's this? What is this? Almonds with sugar. Mmm, that's Delicious. very good. Delicious. Shukran. Walking around Damascus, you'll notice that so many shop owners have painted the flag of Syria. And supposedly they've done this um, to be proud after the war, to show the flag and like, long live Syria. Spice for salad. Spice for salad. Can I smell it or salad, taste yes. it? Take it? Yes. And then what? Spice for salad. Eat it? Yes. 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 Uh, Mix a spice, mint, glass, glass, wow. glass. Wow, minty and lemony. Yes, shukran. It's nice. Shukran. Everyone in Damascus is so friendly. You can't walk down a street or a souk without someone running out of their shop to give you a taster of what they've got to offer. You've got your sweets, you've got your spices. You had the spice for a salad, which uh, I don't know if that tastes the best. A spice for a, would you have a spicy salad? Maybe in Syria. <laughs> like a magpie I was attracted to the fact that this is sparkly very similar to what Matt has got on his abaya it is like a really sparkly thank you so much one with a hood wow with a hood it has a hood look I don't have a hood yeah I know mine's a little bit more snazzy thank you <gasps> wow oh let's see the hood oh you're like a real Syrian woman Wow! I love it! Jamil! <laughs> I'm definitely buying that before we go home. I think I think it suits me. I think purple's my colour. Matt will be super jealous as well because it's I'm got not a hood. A purple one. <laughs> I would not be a real Syrian man in a purple avail. <laughs> but Rami and Mary have taken us to... What is this? So this is a workshop. They are making akal and export them to the Gulf country. And the akal is the... Yeah, the uh, black uh, thread that they put uh, above oh, the scarf. Yeah, and do they wear that? Do you wear that in Syria as well? I mean, in Syria, in some particular places, like the south, for example, they do it, yeah. Salam. Hello. Hi, hello. Salam. Oh, wow. 
You look good, Molly. Thank you. Can women wear them, or is it mainly for yeah, men? Yeah, yeah. They can. Yes. Oh. Yes, from London. 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 And this is what they make. Wow. Oh, it fits nice. Oh, you look good. You look Saudi ready. Right? Look at me. What do you think? They have oh a mirror of it. Oh wow! This is. You look local. No. I look local. <laughs> I'm loving it. And they literally make this right here. Around uh, 100 years. Wow. wow. Like they are good. Wow! You look so good. Oh does it does it go with the abaya? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It goes perfectly. I'm now like yeah. r real Syrian now. Shukran, <laughs> 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 A gold one, really? <laughs> I'm like a shape. Yeah. I feel like a shake. shake. And it's the ground. You look beautiful. Oh. Wow. <laughs> You're very lucky, Molly, to be with a shake. Wow. Lucky lady. Lucky lady. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very Thank good. you, my friend. Shukran. <laughs> <laughs> Habibi. Habibi. Thank you. I've been in Syria just under a day and the transformation is already starting to take place. You couldn't go and not buy an cow from a business that goes back more than 100 years. And this costs 15,000 Syrian, which is just under $3, which I think is a bargain. I just need to get the scarf to go on top. And then the transformation would have fully taken place. I will be a real Syrian man. We just walked down a straight street to a tiny little street that has a plain door that when you open it leads you to one of the coolest cafes we've ever seen. Saha! Saha! Cheers! Cheers! Look at this, our very first taste of a Syrian beer, a Thamia. I'm going to give my honest reaction. Is this what you expect? A beer, some shisha, some spillage? Spillage all over you. It's good. It's a good lager. It's normal. Just, it's a, I can't give you too much description about it to be fair, but I just love this. Look, beer of Syria. You wouldn't have guessed it. Is this the image that comes to mind when you think of Syria? Some shisha, some beer. It's almost like a Syrian cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> a sip on the beer and have, a, oh, and have a smoke of the shisha. You can tell I'm not very good at it. What is it, Mary? It's yogurt, cheese, turkey, and uh, cheese. Another kind of cheese. So this is our Syrian snack to accompany our shisha and our beer. This is one with cheese and some herbs, maybe pesto. Nice. Oh, it's good. It's just like a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> That was Kishla, and that, I think, is going to become part of my daily Syrian, or at least Damascian, routine. Have a local beer and some shisha. There are so many hidden bars just off of Straight Street, which is actually the longest street in Damascus that goes all the way across the old city, east to west. And we're actually in the Jewish quarter there, and you can find a local Damascan beer for around two dollars. You'll find walking around Syria, it is just not what you expect at all. It's a very liberal city. Um, you can find alcohol pretty much everywhere. Women can wear whatever they want because it is such a mix of cultures, very similar to that that you'll find in Lebanon. We're now listening to Syrian music in the car on the way to a view. Yalla. Yalla, woo! Yeah, <laughs> woo, go Mary. <laughs> Now we're listening to Syrian rap. What do you think? Yeah, you fit in. <laughs> I've had enough of listening to Syrian music and Syrian rap. Now I can enjoy the view of Damascus. We've actually come up above the city and you can really see how vast it is. So five million people are here in the city of Damascus and what I absolutely love is the huge flag. We're claiming that this is the world's biggest flag. <laughs> During the war, 
Damascus was relatively untouched compared to other Syrian cities and you can definitely see it from up here. I didn't realize how green Damascus would be but you've got palm trees. There are palm trees in Damascus, Syria and you can really see the difference between the new city and the old city that we've been exploring today. I mean what a spot coming to the hills above Damascus for sunset. This is still very surreal. When you come to a spot like this, does it make you proud to be from Damascus, such a beautiful city? Yeah, of course. I mean, just look how beautiful. The landscape talks uh, about itself, actually. Uh, you don't need any explanation, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel I'm proud to be uh, born and live. It's really lovely place. Everyone that lives in Damascus, they will really have difficulty leaving Damascus. It's really beautiful, yeah. Cheers. 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 Look at us being healthy. We've come to Abo Abdo. They have like the cutest fruit stall on the outside. And I have got strawberry. We've got avocado and orange. And strawberry. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Shukran. Syrian hospitality. Have you had extra dessert on the house? Thank you so much. Shukran. This is Syrian hospitality. For you, they have given us a free ice cream, chocolatey, strawberry goodness, goodness type thing. Oh, it's good. Ah, uh, more. <laughs> it's very good. This is actually <laughs> This is actually the new part of town. So where we were earlier was the old part. So we'll be exploring a little bit more of this area than the other days. And if this is anything to go by, it's going to be great. So my friend from the store is actually Syria's number one rapper. You're going to rap for me? Burdan wa salam an ahar roh yalli matat kil shi bahat lon wa hatta al basma min wujuh na rahat salab kil shi min wujuh. Yes, you're the best. Shukran, Syria's best rapper. I think we found Damascus's answer to Eminem. I have no idea what he was saying, he was probably calling me an idiot, but whatever he was saying, it sounded good. But welcome to the mean streets of the old town of Damascus by night. You'll actually notice walking around, there is a lot of rationing done with electricity. For every one hour of electricity, they have five hours when it is off. As you can see, it is just me and Matt, and that just shows you that it is safe to walk around. Damascus on your own at night, but apparently we are heading to the best restaurant in the whole city, which is that one just there. It's like a Hogwarts door. Hello. Wow, Hello. it's busy. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Saha. 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 Oh my God, you've dripped everywhere. So this is restaurant Naranj, the best one in the city and we are starting off with Arak, the Syrian spirit. So they basically have mixed water with it, similarly to like when you add ice to ouzo, it changes colour. And on first taste, it's like really sweet, it's not as strong as ouzo, it doesn't make you do that face. It's good, Saha. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little bit of a Syrian party here tonight. That is good. That is like because it's mixed with the water, you could drink it all night. But basically, to start, we have a selection of all different Syrian starters. Basically, it's very similar to what you'll find in Lebanon like and across day. and across the Mediterranean. So you've got the vine leaves, you've got the hummus, you've got the baba ganoush. I'm dipping in something. I don't know what I'm double dipping in, but it tastes good. <laughs> This is a, uh, a real Syrian piece. We're there feasting. Is, there's a lot going on. Matt's got his fish cash kebab. I've got a chicken cheese like goes in the tandoor. We've got all these mezes to go. We're sort of doing it wrong because everyone else shares. And then because we're greedy, we get a fish eat. Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? Do you know how you know this is a Syrian kebab? Because they smother it. They smother everything in pomegranate. It worked. Good morning. That was our first full day in Damascus, Syria. That food last night was absolutely exceptional. There are so many nice, fancy, traditional restaurants in Damascus style homes in 
the old town. It's such a mix though, you have the old town and then across you have this like super modern new town which was something I probably wasn't expecting too much but I hope we've put some stereotypes to bed showing you how safe Damascus actually is and the process to get here is actually incredibly easy and it's only going to get easier and easier over time and more accessible and from my first day I would highly recommend to come and at least check out Damascus and definitely do it with our friends from Marossa Travel. Rami and Mary, they're the best, honestly. They are so passionate what they, they are so passionate about what they do and so passionate about showing you the real Syria. The real Syria that we don't get to see too much. So hopefully throughout this next week, traveling all across the country on our road trip, we will show you the true story, the real Syria. Hopefully the rain has stopped. That is the, that is the worst thing about Syria. The blooming rain. You come all the way to the Middle East and get rain. I've brought the British weather with me. Hopefully it stops. We have so much more left to see in Damascus. We have another full day exploring the city. So we'll see you in the next one from Syria.